This is game team meeting. Hello, welcome. We're not doing Monopoly. If you want to do Monopoly, suggest as a game idea. First, we take the game idea that we voted on the previous semester and we figure out how we want that game to work and what we need to program. We're not going to allow people to deorbit their planets, I'm sorry. And every time you do that, there's a small chance that you just blow your whole planet. <laughs> no, there's a chance that you knock your planet into the sun. Yeah. There's a small <laughs> chance, but every time you do it, it grows a little. <laughs> We're programming a game to be played by an AI that's programmed within 24 hours. This is not going to be a game that one of the competitors actually picks up and plays. It's like a newborn bab at the beginning of the competition, and it does not have a lot of time to grow up. Instead of throwing the enemy's planet into the sun, why don't we just launch the sun into the enemy's planet? I like where you're going. You all wound me. It was pretty interesting to see all the stuff that goes into game development, because I haven't done anything like this before. It was also just pretty fun to talk about the crazy stuff, like throwing planets into the sun. Bonjour, bonjour, hello everybody. We're going to be going over how to actually develop the game. In a quick synopsis of the game, Stardash is a game where there's going to be two opposing planets in a perfect binary orbit, don't question it, and they are both competing to mine the mythite that is orbiting around the sun, or mythicite, that's orbiting around the sun. Huh? Mythicite. Mythicite? Mythicite? Okay. Get the official pronunciation down, Vlad. We all chose a function to write, so I wrote the one that had to do with if a ship just got attacked, like what happened if the ship got destroyed, and that it all made sense and worked well. What is the ultimate goal? Is it to kill the other planet? To get the most myth, mis, uh, myth, that, myth, that, mythicide. mythicide. So we have like the attack function or the move function or the grab something function for the different things that are happening in the game. So my job is writing the system so that the ships can enter this asteroid field I actually did spend a lot of time with Jeffrey himself, just sitting on the third floor of the library, which is sort of the quiet area. I'm setting up a whole grid sort of thing, and I spent hours and hours in there. The normally 24-hour Mega Miner will only be an 18-hour competition this time around. We should simplify a little bit, and I think of one thing that's going to give everybody the largest headache known to man, which is why I think we should remove collisions between Asteroids and ships. Yes. I need a table. <laughs> I, I need a table. You, I told you you're gonna need a table. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, man. I mean, we're still gonna have collisions with asteroids in the sun. No, you asteroids will no longer collide as well. <laughs> so will. it's just the sun. Just the sun. Then what's the point of all of the code I wrote? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. It, it, simultaneously, it's a big relief because the code wasn't done. And this isn't the first game that something like this has happened. This is sort of how the real world is too, is you have setbacks. Hallelujah. What is the resolution of the game? Hallelujah. Huh? This is how big the sun is. It's gotta be big, it's the sun. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna display it as that big. Yeah, that, that, that makes sense. That you want us to it. reflect it? So, just make it so that all these are constantly pointing away from the sun. Mini Miner is the big testing, sit down, bash out, fix it up meeting. These meetings tend to be extraordinarily vital to get everybody together to hammer out any minor wrinkles that still exist between different interfaces communicating. We're not fully satisfied with the game. There's always something left to do. We're, we probably need to get started. All right, guys, this year's game is Stardash. You have to make ships that will go out to the belt, mine each asteroid for the materials, and bring it back to your home planet. 
you need to create a artificial intelligence that is able to look at a state, look at how much money it has, look at where the enemy ships are, look at where your ships are, and figure out where does it want to send every unit. Whoever has the most victory points wins. Does the visualizer work? Yes. Words can't express how happy this makes me. Something happened that caused the code for one of the functions to constantly repeat its creation cycle, and that causes a ton of merge conflicts. It's a mix between panic and hope. At night, there's usually always somebody awake and working. For us game devs, we're doing one of three possible things. We're either making an AI ourselves for the fun of it, we're fixing bugs, or we're relaxing after a long semester of working on this game. Ah, the end of the competition. One of my favorite things to do is to watch the final tournament, see what the winning AIs are doing. I had a very pleasant conversation with Garmin where we talked about what they did to Path Around the Sun. And it was very fascinating watching their AI in action, seeing the mining ships just be scattered over the mining belt and begin mining everything, just to sit there and wrap everything up to announce a winner, to see what everybody did, and to also talk to everybody after the competition, get feedback, ask what they did, why they did everything. If you really like Mega Miner, uh, they're looking for lots of developers. Yes, we are. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. So.